since the idea of a sample space underlies all the study of probability that we'll be doing, let's take some time to actually look at some sample space examples. Here we have a bow of uh, marbles, and in that bow we have three yellow, four white, and eight blue marbles. And we're going to draw one marble at random. And the question is, what is the sample space, or the instructions are to write the sample space? Remember, the sample space is a set of all possibilities. Since we only have three colors, our one draw can result in a yellow marble, it could result in a white marble, or it could result in a blue marble. So the sample space with the understanding that Y is for yellow, W is for white, and B is for blue. This set would represent our sample space. Another example. Here we have an unprepared student who takes a three-question true-false quiz and guesses answers all three questions. The key here is unprepared student, which we're taking to mean that the answers that student gives are strictly uh, random guesses. And it says to write the sample space. Well, again, the sample space is the set of all possibilities. It's a three-question quiz. The student could decide to answer true for all three. The student could decide to answer true twice and false once, and that false could go into, into any of the three positions. It could go in the first, the third position. It could go in between the two trues, or it could go first. The student could also decide to answer with two false and a true. Again, that true, that one true could go in the third position. It could go in the middle position between the two falses, or it could go at the beginning. And the only possibility we yet haven't considered is that the student might answer all three falses. And that would be the sample space for this problem.